Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. The idea of pulling cards in a deck randomly and receiving answers is folly to many. And yet the metaphysics of it is sound that you control your own randomness and there are no accidents and the cards that were pulled that Anaranda has read are significant let me continue the significance the one is a statement of grand truth it says that the universe is your partner the universe is a metaphor for spirit, for creative source, for all that is. And the statement says that you have help. Now a partner is not a guide. A partner is one who has a confluence of consciousness with you. Partnering is not a teacher. Therefore, the statement is this, that there is an energy that is beyond that which you can even imagine in the universe that is partnering with you. But so many say, well, I don't feel it. And that's because of the second card. The blank card interpreted in this pair of cards is free choice you see it's blank because there is no predetermined pre free choice there there's no finger pointed at you that says you better go this way or you better go that way or you better choose this or you better choose that free choice to spirit is really free it doesn't come with a, a condemnation and it doesn't come with a reward Free choice means that the human being really is free to choose in any direction, whatever the consciousness is that you have. Both of those cards are dripping with love. The love in the first one is obvious. The offer of partnership with a grand energy called creation. And the second one is the love that gives you freedom of choice without condemnation, without judgment, without even reward. There is no bias presented to you with free choice. And so you have to ask the question, if you have free choice what is it you think about when you start deciding with your freedom where you're going to go with it in an old energy dear ones that free choice went everywhere but it's settled in a place that was more human nature than God nature. And in that place, humanity wallowed for centuries. And I say wallowed because it was less than even 50% of what was available. You have to reach a certain point before you feel the partnership that is offered to you with free choice by spirit. There are some who will sit in the chair and say, I have waited for spirit so long to fix this, to fix that, to be where I want it to be, not understanding that you don't sit in a neutral place, dear ones, waiting for God to do anything. You got the steering wheel called free choice. And if the freedom of the choice 
through intuition begins to start raising the energy toward light certain kinds of things happen now I'm sitting in a group of biased humanity for I sit with old souls I also am aware that the old souls are here on purpose to hear these kinds of messages and so the bias is this many of you have discovered that your free choice comes from your Akash over and over doing things both directions and in that you have settled on one that starts to create light because you realize that that is the direction of partnership and it is and this is where it gets good but how does human nature and the partnership with spirit balance itself internally how do you see this and that is why the expression duality occurs some human beings feel that if they have high coherence all the time and are thinking high thoughts all the time that duality will go away in other words the little voices that want to take you the other direction you feel that they're they're going to go away dear ones free choice and duality will be with you as long as you're a human and what happens is that that voice perhaps it would represent darkness to you it would pull you out of coherence and pull you out of the light will always be there but the free choice you have to take the high road starts to diminish that negative voice not just diminish it you can actually take it in the other room so that it beats against the door instead of speaking in your ear and that is the subject of the channel what is that voice doing with you as you sit there is it beating on the door from another place where you can smile and ignore it where metaphorically you can put another lock on the door so it will never be close enough to speak in your ear or are you one who has it constantly speaking in your ear while you struggle between the light and the dark knowing that the partnership is there but you just can't quite get to it and so I'm here to give you some advice <laughs> I want you to start visualizing something that perhaps you had not seen before we've used the metaphor over and over that the universe spirit creative source will not bias or influence you dear ones because you have free choice but if you wish to visualize what it is that is that partnership it's an outstretched hand that is outstretched while you're sleeping while you're awake while you're in trouble while you're in joy while you're eating and the outstretched hand is the partnership an invitation is always there without bias there's also an invitation to the darkness if you wish if you've noticed if you've noticed called human nature but the invitation with the outstretched hand from that which is the light will bring you into a partnership that makes sense of everything else the invitation to human nature just says it's an invitation to stay the same an invitation to bop around in worry and fear enjoying perhaps the, the times in the middle but going right back to worry and fear 
And in that, there is a place you can be, dear ones, where you start to understand that duality. That it will not bop around all the time. It's not meant to. It's meant to be solved. Duality is that word that means that you have the negative and the positive. You have the free choice to go each way. And that human nature will often pull you between the positive and the negative. But the secret in all of this is that the outstretched hand solves duality. It's not dual anymore, not really. Because you take that which is the human nature part, the fear part, and the worry part, and you put it in the other room. And you have the ability with the partnership to not only start taking the hand that's going to guide you through life, but it's going to put locks on the door. <laughs> well, that other part of you is pounding on the door and screaming to be let in, and you smile and go, never again. And so it begs the question, what are you afraid of? What is the normal for you? Even the highest consciousness one in the room will have a level occasionally of frustration and fear. But I'll tell you something, it is a normal. But the lower human nature of that duality will create a normal where you're constantly in fear and constantly worried about something that might happen or you didn't do something or it is not right have I told you what happens when you put that human nature part of you on the other side of the door what happens is you clear the way for intuition And intuition starts to then inform you on better ways of turning left and turning right, changing that which the dark side doesn't want you to know about. Luck. If you are attached to that human nature side and you're always worrying and you're always fearful, you've bought into something. You're just like everyone else on the planet and luck will be that which is primary. And you just hope you make it. But if you take and grasp that hand of the partnership of the universe, you start to twist luck. You start to understand and realize that you're in control of a reality. That heretofore you thought was simply randomness. And the intuition that starts to come forward when you put that duality away and start to realize that the, the pendulum is swinging for you, swinging out of fear toward a normalcy when you get up in the morning instead of fearing the same things you have every day. You realize you put it away. And so the day can be a benevolent day. A benevolent day is where you're able to solve duality. Dear ones, the sun doesn't come out for you in some stellar heavenly way where a chorus then sings its way everywhere you go. What it does instead, a partnership gives you the ability to see the bumps coming and solve them as they arrive. The things that would cause fear and frustration are solved and solved and solved. And the sidewalk of life that you walk has an intuition that will show light on the bumps coming and give you the solution when they arrive every single time. That's the difference. And if you are in a duality of human nature and you're worrying and fearing, you'll never see the bumps. And when they come, it's always a surprise. Then there's drama. And then there's the obvious. 
that if with free choice you choose to change that balance and take that hand and believe in these things, you're going to live a lot longer. That's the way it works. When you look at life and death on the planet, you can't figure it out. My partner got angry when certain deaths of friends occurred. And he would speak to spirit and call out to me and wring his hands and say, what is the appropriateness of taking a light worker to the other side of the veil when they're far too young, when they could do so much more? And that's when I give my, my message of appropriateness that goes way beyond that which I just gave you about taking the hand of spirit. Sometimes, dear ones, sometimes a light worker goes to the other side of the veil and passes too soon because what you don't know, what you don't know is that that soul has been selected for a fast turnaround to come back on this planet and pick up where they left off and continue compassion and training and is needed for the future. And since you now know that, and I'm speaking to some people in here, I'm going to ask you, can you be a little more comfortable with it? It's hard, isn't it? But in general, the duality that you're starting to realize on this planet is starting to be different. Your free choice is still free. But now for the first time you start understanding that the light dark quotient of the earth itself has moved off the peg of balance where it was and light is starting to win. This free choice balance that you've had starts to awaken old souls because of this. Hope where, you're, where, you, where you did not have that kind of hope before is here. Solutions that you never thought could be solutions are starting to be here. The idea of literally putting the dark side of you in the other room and locking the door has never occurred to you, perhaps until now. And once you do that with free choice and take that hand of the Creator, those locks will not come off. And then there's the intellectual who says, wait a minute, wait a minute, free choice. You can go and rip those locks off if you wish. <laughs> yes, you can. But you don't. Why would you? You don't. You see, they don't fly off by themselves with some horror on the other side coming to get you. And many think that's the case, that you're being pursued by your own darkness. You're not. Once you make the decision to put it in the other room and you put the padlocks on, it cannot get through by itself. And with a higher consciousness, you're not about to go to the door and take the locks off and say, welcome back. Only a fool would do that. And dear ones, light workers are not fools. The ones who are discovering high consciousness are not the fools. The old souls are starting to understand that intelligence is defined as that which can pull upon past wisdom. And that, that room with the door now has its light off. And you don't even think about it. 
Oh, it may be irritating, pounding on that door. It wants to come out. You may even hear its voice occasionally. <laughs> we can't get you. Not like it used to. I'm talking to somebody here. What's your normal? Is there a darkness of human nature that is always out to get you? Is that you who you're battling with? I just gave you a solution that in this new energy is profound. That blank card, <laughs> if you take a look at the card, maybe it is bias, you see. It's white, metaphorically light, an invitation of the hand that's outstretched to you to solve an issue in your life that you didn't think you could solve. The battle ends here. <laughs> and that is the catalyst for growing consciousness, for an evolution of human nature. The understanding that the battle is no longer equal. That duality will always be there in some way, but the solution of it is at hand. And the question is, how many have realized that? And know that you're no longer a victim of human nature or even of yourself or your own thoughts. You just aren't. The outstretched hand says, take it. See if it makes a difference in how you think or what your fears or your lack of fears do. And they become smaller and smaller and you realize every single day I'm walking a path and solving the issues as I go. I'm living longer. I feel better. That's the solution. And that, dear ones, is something you did. Nothing came down and touched you. No voices from the sky. That's what you did. That's free choice. And believe me, on this planet, that is changing. It's a good message. But what makes it especially good is that it's 100% true. <laughs> You'll see. Leave here differently than you came. And so it is. Thank you.